as we showed you the pictures of uh, just a few minutes ago. People being rescued from their homes in Steel Creek because of the rising floodwaters. Yeah, crews are now calling in boats to help people at a mobile home park. This is on John Price Road, and our reporter, Anthony Castora, is live there now. Anthony, can you show us what are you seeing? What's happening right now? Yeah, Brittany, they just moved us back here in the last few minutes. We're standing on dry, line, dry land right now, but it doesn't take long to get to the water. In just the last few minutes here, we saw a handful of boats come in from fire, uh, Charlotte Fire Department. And if you can see, just beyond this truck that's right in front of us, there's a medic truck there, and that is really where all of the flooding is uh, starting to subside here because uh, this is just really quite impressive. Beyond that truck, and I know it's a little hard to see, based on our vantage point, uh, we see a number of cars here and those are all stuck. We are told uh, from the officials here that they are starting these rescue efforts to get their these people out of their mobile homes now and to get them to safety. Medic is on scene, as I mentioned. We are asking uh, if anyone has been hurt, if they know of any injuries at this point. We're waiting on a response from them, but right now there's about a half a dozen fire trucks here. CMPD is here as well, and again, those boats just came in. Uh, the rain has stopped for now, but of course you can still see that flooding at this hour uh, and has left just quite a mess and it will be quite a time, uh, quite some time until all of these folks can be rescued and hopefully brought to safety. John, Brittany. Yeah, Anthony, I'm curious, uh, have you been watching them? Is it is it shallow enough for them to wade through or are they taking boats to get over there? I saw a couple of them uh, kind of with waders on. I think so. I, I think in the, you know, sort of where it begins, it's probably shallow enough, but it looks like it gets a little bit deep based on just where these cars are at uh, in the distance here. Uh, I mean, they're tires deep at that point. You know, normally when we talk about flooding, we encourage people not to drive through that flooding because they can get stuck. Uh, we don't know what's in the water, so that's obviously a hazard there as well. So it's hard to, to know for sure how deep it is, uh, but obviously they've brought the boats out, so it must be deep enough in order for them to really continue this rescue effort. John? And I know you just got on scene. Have you seen any of the residents at all? Are they uh, any of them back on, uh, on the dry land where you are? Not yet. It seems like uh, the mobile homes that are to my right here, all of these folks are inside. And really, the mobile homes that are in question here are just down a little bit further. And because police have brought us back a, a little bit, we haven't seen anyone yet, but we're seeing those flashlights. It looks like they're starting to hopefully make contact with some of those residents, uh, but we haven't seen anyone just yet. But of course, we'll be here all morning and we'll let you know as this develops. Sounds like they have a lot of work ahead of them, and you'll be there to watch it all unfold. We'll get back to you in just a little bit, Anthony. Thank you for that.